Here's another tip from Multiple Stream Media, a full service advertising and marketing company that helps internet marketers reach greater success with advertising and promotions. Let's talk a little bit about managing your time. We all have challenges with this, so let's learn from the pros. And so the topic is managing your time like the pros. Steve Jobs, college dropout and CEO of Apple Computer, once said, For the past 33 years, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself this question. If today was the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Almost everything. All external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment and failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Steve Jobs, how true. Here's another one. Tim Ferriss, in his outstanding book, The 4-Hour Workweek, asks a few questions that might be controversial and provoking. But nonetheless, I think this can be very beneficial if applied the right way. I'm going to list three of them here. Give these questions some thought and you might end up with some new insights that will help you focus on what's really important in your business. Question 1. If you had a heart attack and had to work two hours per week, what would you do? Not five hours, not four hours, not three, two hours. You might say to yourself, that's impossible. But what if the doctor warned you after a triple bypass surgery that you had to reduce your work to two hours per day? What would you do? Probably not check your email and surf the news because it's not exactly money-making activities. Question number two. If you had a gun to your head and had to stop doing four or five different time-consuming activities, what would you remove? Tim also adds this in his book. Simplicity requires ruthlessness. If you had to stop four or five of time-consuming activities like email, phone calls, conversations, paperwork, meeting, advertising, customers, suppliers, products and services, etc. What would you eliminate to keep the negative effect on your income to a minimum? Think about it. This question alone can keep you sane and on track. Please don't get me wrong. I am not suggesting that everyone who is reading or listening to this message should necessarily cut their work hours down to two hours. What I am saying is that it is definitely a good thing to ask yourself thought-provoking questions like these. You will get more realistic perspective on what really matters in your business and that can only be a good thing. Question number three. Learn to ask if this is the only thing I accomplish today, will I be satisfied with my day? You might not agree, but the 4-Hour Workweek author claims that you should never have more than two mission-critical items to complete each day. Whatever you think about that advice, I think we can agree that arriving at the office or in front of your computer without a clear list of priorities is a recipe for time wasting. Let me add some advice from another time management expert as well. This well-known marketer is militant about guarding his time. Here's what he says about time management. It's impossible to overemphasize the deliberate achievement of peak productivity. It's the secret of secrets to getting rich. Did you hear that? Success is a product of eliminating tasks that are not important after all. Now, put your thinking cap on today. 
what time consuming activities are gi are giving you the best return on your investment learn to focus on those tasks less important tasks can be eliminated delegated or even outsourced it's no coincidence that successful business people tend to be masters at time management the phrase time is money is more than a cliche invest your time where you get the best interest possible learn from the pros thank you for watching this video from myself Abe Cherian and the staff of multiple stream media we wish you all the success